AkronHipHop.com. This is the blog where you see videos that are focused on issues affecting us as a community. When you see me, you're looking at black consciousness, black intelligence, and of course, black, black, love. Love. black love. What's going on, brother? What are we talking about today? Um, black movies, man. Hey, man. I see what you got on. I like the shirt. Oh, Hugh P. Newton. Yeah, hey, definitely, man, definitely, definitely. All in the um, TVs and the, on the screens and stuff. You know what I recently watched? Uh, let me guess. Judas and the Black Messiah. Which sent me back to 1995. I think it was 95, whatever it came out. The Panther oh, movie. Oh, the Panther movie. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, that's free, available on YouTube. I yeah, mean, people. That's, that's why I saw that. People do all, everything on, else on YouTube. You get some time, to watch the movie. It's so free. I think when you watch the Judas and the Black Messiah, the stuff that's happening in Chicago, uh, they they actually always talk about what's happening in um, Oakland and stuff. Of course. And when you watch, if you're not familiar with, with the band or even the movie, go back and watch that, which would be considered a prequel mm -hmm. to Judas and the Black Messiah. Right. Speak about that, bro. Well, uh, you gotta understand, man. The uh, the Panthers were becoming a threat. Okay, and outside of Oakland, two areas that they feared was uh, Chicago and New York. They had a very large following, okay, especially Chicago, uh, Chicago had, you know, the, uh, Fred Hammond was trying to unite with Jeff Ford and had that unity coming together and that, of course it didn't happen. The FBI even orchestrated so with some encouragement from their superiors to, to be creative on creating division. So you had what's called that thing called the brown bag letters or something like that. You write letters, you send it to Jeff Ford, you send one to from Leslie from uh, Jeff Ford to Fred Hampton, hoping they would go at it, and it didn't happen that way. They said, well, damn, this ain't working. So what they did was they said, well, okay, well, we just, we have an assassination team. That's how Fred Hampton died, man. They came in and just just shot through, the, through the, uh, his apartment. It wasn't no shootout. Stop saying there was a shootout. Can't say there's a shootout when one person was in bed sleep. That ain't no, that's not a shootout. They, they knew exactly where he was laying because they had the blueprint to his apartment. And they shot so many holes in that thing, man. You was you was just lucky if you even came out of there. Right? So let me let me say, so when we watch these black conscious movies, is this, should we just take it for face value and say, okay, that's our history being displayed and things like that? It, it depends who's behind the movie. Should we do our own studying behind it? We should always do our own studying, but more so it depends on who co-signed, who, who, who's behind the project. I want to know who's behind the project. So Malcolm X and Spike Lee. Will be comfortable with that? Uh, you're not gonna agree. Everybody's not gonna agree on everything. Overall, I had no problem. It was, it was pretty balanced. Now, what you want to do after that? Some research. Go ahead. Keep in mind, it's a it's a, it's a two hour something movie. You can't put every aspect of person's life in two hours something. You know, because if people got, I've I've heard criticism, and a lot of criticism is is petty. You know, what I'm saying it's it just really petty. So, overall, I liked it. I saw it when it first came out. You know, I, you know, top five. Conscious movies, uh -oh. brother. Conscious movies? Oh, man. Uh, no matter what year. Oh, man. I'm going to give you mine. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, clear throat. In no throat. particular order. Okay. Okay. Judas and the Black Messiah. Okay. Nat Turner. Panther. Okay. Roots. Okay. And I feel like I'm missing something that I'm missing. Cooley, huh? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Hidden Colors. I oh, okay. Hidden Colors, one, two, three, four, four, four. Well, well, the Hidden Colors, that's a, that's a documentary, but yeah, I know you. You ain't gonna give me that? I can't have it? Right, right, right. You can have it. Can have it. I, I, think, well, I like Malcolm Hidden Malcolm. Figures. I like Malcolm X. I like uh, Panther. I didn't and, see Malcolm X. No, you didn't. Hey, Malcolm X. And, 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 and there's other ones out there I can't think of off the top of my head now, man, but. You like the Nat Turner? I've never seen it. I thought if you see Nat Turner, you'd be looking me up. Let me say something about black movies real quick, if you don't mind. Uh, Going back to the 70s, right? They had a, they called it black exploitation films. But there's, there's something interesting about that thing. Uh, Melvin Van Peebles was one of the first to put his movie out there. And they saw, Hollywood saw how successful, he got a low budget movie with the predominantly all black cast and it was making money at the box office. They said, hmm, this is popular right here. So then the, they started doing the same thing. Okay. The Hollywood, the white, they started doing the same. The original character for Shaft was a white man. You didn't know that, did you? No. It was not Richard Roundtree. They had to change it up. When they saw the popularity of black uh, films, that they called Black Exploitation Era, that revived Hollywood at the time. Low budget, all, it was making money. That's how it's easy to revive because they cost that, not that much money to make. Right, they said, we gotta change it. We'll put Richard Roundtree, but he was not the original person for that, for that uh, role. But yeah, you know, we have power, man. We have power. It's important to 
support our own, especially on that first day, that first uh, weekend or whatever. And I don't go by what the critics say or, you know, two thumbs up. I don't do the critics. I go see it for myself. I, you know what I'm saying? I, and judge myself how I like it. I pay my money, you know, go from there. When Panther came out, I saw it twice in the same week because the person that saw it for me the first time, he was like, you want to go see it again? I was like, yeah, go see it again. When Malcolm X came out, you know, I was right there. You know, I, I pay my money, I see it. When it come out, man, and I support my support my own, man. You definitely support your own. Yeah, man. Stop listening to the what the what the what the critics say. You know, those silly reviews and half the time, man, I be reading the reviews in the paper. It ain't even they so far off. It's like we two different people, man. Right. They they looking at one thing and it's like I'm like, huh? I didn't see all that in the movie. I, I didn't get that. So you know, knock that stuff off, man. Go see it for yourself. The black movies that's out, Judas and the Black Messiah, whatever comes out that's black. You know, it's, it's few out there I haven't seen. I haven't seen Selma yet. Uh, I tell you why I haven't seen it. Well, I like what's the sister's name? Uh, Ava DuVerry, what's her name? Oh, no. She's a director, black director. Okay, anyway, before she became on the project, the guy who did The Empire, the, the what's yeah, his yeah. name? Uh, the black, the, right. you know, know. He had a, uh, wrote a script to have Mal, uh, Martin Luther King sitting on the toilet. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. They, they got him out the picture and got Ava. Yes, yeah, I'm saying, you gotta be careful who co-signed on these projects. And- um, What was the significance of the toilets? Because he's black and gay, he don't like his own kind. That's why. Woo! Well, uh, you know what I'm talking about, the dude behind Empire, you know what I'm saying? His name is Daniel. I think his name is, was it Lee Daniel? Lee Daniel, Lee Daniel. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. He says some other nasty stuff that I'm not gonna feed on camera, but you know, uh, it just, it just, Nasty man. No, I'm serious. Just nasty. Why would you want to have Dr. King sitting on the toilet in a movie? What's the What's the point? That's just That's just degrading somebody, man. Because you hate yourself. You hate yourself. Corner corner. Be quiet. You know, turn the lights off. Get into bed and just be by yourself and hate your own damn self. You better say it and don't believe it. Take us out here, G Mac. Brother G Mac. Tune in next time. Another weekly side.